All right, welcome back. It's been a while since I did a video. Today we're gonna go. We're gonna revisit the Adam and Eve story in Genesis. I did a breakdown of Adam and Eve as it related to the cells in your body. How Adam was your Adam, and it split evenly. You can check that video out. This one we're gonna center around the story itself and how, what it means to die and to become holy. All right. So what you gotta understand, if you're new to this uh, to my channel, you gotta watch all the videos. But everything is mostly a play on words. So what I want to stress to you today is you do not die as we think of. We die a physical death, but we don't die. We have no beginning and no end. All right. So you're gonna to learn today that certain words they either add or take away a letter. I wrote some down here as some examples. Some of the easier ones is how they just added a D to the word evil and gave you a personification of evil, which is now the devil. They took a, a O from good and they personified good by calling it God. All right. Uh, another one is heaven. All they did was add it an E. It's really a safe place, which is a haven. Daddy is the one I want to talk about because I told you if you watch any of my come uh, any of my videos, most of these allegories always have the father dead. Or the father's in heaven, like Superman, he has a father in heaven, and then one on earth. Spider-Man was raised by his aunt and uncle, and not his not his regular parents. Batman, his parents got killed. It's usually the daddy in any karate movie it begins with the daddy being killed and the son has to re avenge his death. So the same thing with the widow's son, or what Mason called the widow's son. What's happening is daddy, all they did was, instead of saying daddy, or he's my dad, what happens is he's dead. The word dad, that dad E, they put the E at the, the E sound at the end, to make up the word D-E-A-D. -E the reason why I bring that up is, basically, uh, allegorically, when a father uh, ejaculates, he dies. Because what's inside your sperm is called solar phallic energy. Solar as in the soul or the sun, and phallic as is the penis. So what happens is there's energy and it's, it's, said, it's said to drain you or your essence is leaving your body to create another, uh, 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 another compact version of yourself. So technically the father dies every time he makes children or ejaculates sperm. So that's what this play on words is. So what brings me to today's lecture is about dying. All I did was add the letter E to the Greek word die. Or, or prefix or whatever you want to call it. The prefix die in Greek means two. Literally it means two, but technically it means split. As in when two people split, it's called a divorce. Uh, when you have two dice, two dies, it's called dice. So one, one, one of the two dice is called die. When you have division means split vision. So when you divide something, you split the vision of it. Diversity, you have split or many. It's not when you when you say oh we have a diverse culture you don't mean two different cultures you mean more than two two or more is what it means so it means to split just like the word several and it, it has the word seven in it because it implies seven when someone says I have several I don't know several keys or several cars or several several this they may mean seven but it can mean anything it can be seven or more so several just mean more than a few all right so what to, to bring you back to the word die so when you go to the Genesis story it says when, the, when, the, um, when God tells Adam or, or Eve, however the story goes, you can read it, uh, if you eat from the apple, you will surely die. What they're talking about, you're going to split in two. What happens is your higher self splits from your lower self. Some of your energy or some of your soul gets trapped down here in the body while the rest of it stays high, where you have to reunite with it. So your whole journey down here is another word they trick you with. It's being holy. All the word holy is, is the word whole. All they did was took the sign letter W off of there, made this a long E. They just changed the, the E into a Y. That's it. The word whole. So you split in two or split period because there are many versions of you. It's not just two versions. So that's just a, that's another lecture too. It's a different version of you on different planets and so on and so forth. But just for the, for the point of this is just know you split. So what you have is, and just to bring you to some of the Masonic stuff, in Egypt, which in Greek is called Egypt, but really it's Kemet. So in Kemet or Egypt, it was this, the word for soul is similar to the word for ram, R-A-M. So the, the word for soul and ram is similar. So what they were doing some of these allegories is use the word ram or lamb, like Jesus is a, is a sacrificial lamb or the Aryan or Aries. They would use a ram. So in Masonic lore, they have Hiram. Hiram is a high ram. He's your higher soul that's been knocked in the head and that's sleep in a shallow grave or dead. You know what I'm saying? So it's pretty much because sleep is the cousin of death. So he's not really dead. He's in a shallow grave ready to be re resurrected. Same as Jesus. Jesus died in Golgotha. Golgotha is, is basically the base of your skull. It's your medulla oblongata. So I mentioned your brain stem. Because after your 33rd vertebrae, remember Jesus died at 33, 
you have your brain stem. So the medulla obligata or Golgotha or Calvary is right here. So what you're trying to do is raise this up from your, the base of your spine and it, don't let it stop here. You got to bring it to the front of your forehead to your pineal gland. So that's what that story is about. All right. So um, the apple that's being eaten, whenever you see an apple in any story, is basically <clears throat> meaning pentagram. Penta means five. Five letter or five lines. So gram means word, five letter word, five, you know, so on and so forth. So what happens is they use this symbolism because when you cut an apple in half, you'll see well, some of the old apples uh, right now is kind of funny with how they plant the fruit. But if you usually, when you cut an apple in half, you'll see five seeds. So this became to symbolize in uh, some of these allegories as the pentagram or, or when you um, incarnate. So when you get the word pent to ground, pent means five. So you have arm, leg, leg, arm, head. So we, we're based on the five or the five, P-H-I system. So when you repent, repent means reincarnation. You're basically repenting again. You're becoming... You're getting your five limbs of God. So whenever it's like you repent for your sin, you really repented for your skin. The whole story is really you fell into skin, not sin. All right? So your, your, your skin is your sin. Also, in Latin, the word malum with a long A, malum, and malum, malum with a long A is apple. Malum with a short A is evil. So that's how you get the evil apple. You can also see this apple theme in uh, either Sleeping Beauty or Snow White. I believe it's Snow White about the poisonous apple. So you're going to see this theme through even through our fairy tales. I want to bring up fairy tales because the Brothers Grimm is, is a very popular uh, set of stories. They, they pretty much, most of all the fairy tales come from uh, the Brothers Grimm. The word Grimm, I told you, is the same as the word glamour, as in true blood. Glamour, grammar, grim, grimoire, all that stuff, all means word. It's the same word. So look up etymology. So if you're not familiar with my videos, you need to watch them all. And, get, get, and you can backtrack on some of the stuff I'm talking about. I already talked about Grim and, and the Grim Reaper. The Reaper of the Word. You are the Word made flesh. You became a penta or a flesh. You, 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 you reincarnated by repenting. You're going to keep repeating this process. Alright? So, also says you split. So, another word they use down here is peace. P-E-A-C-E -E is the same as P-I-E-C-E. -E. So, the peace sign is this. This is a split fingers. Your fingers are split or in two. So when somebody's telling you to, to rest in peace, they pretty much program you again. So when you keep telling them, oh, rest in peace, rest in peace, you're basically telling that person to reincarnate again. All right? So what happens is, so let me get you to light. So just give you some understanding about the, about the geometry and the G and, and the uh, Masonic symbol. So light, when you shine it through a prism, you may have did this in science, some, some one of your science classes in uh, grammar school or high school. Whenever you shine light through a prism, it slows down and splits into usually seven colors that you can see with the visible eye. Anywhere between the seven colors from red to violet. So anything other than that you can't see with the naked eye is infrared, which is below red, or ultraviolet, which is above violet. So that's why you always have seven fairies or seven godmothers, which represent the seven chakras in Sleeping Beauty, because your soul has slept. It's not dead. Sleep is the cousin of death. It's not dead, but it appears to be dead. Or like Hiram in a shallow grave. Or like Jesus buried, but he will be resurrected. It's slowed down because when you slow down light or your soul goes into a prism, then another word for a prism is prison. So you in your light, when you put your light in a prism or a prison cell, the cells in your body are prisons. There's light in atoms. So when you shine light through these cells, it slows down and you got what we got here is um, bodies, dense matter, so it, it slows down, it becomes dense. So that's what happens, it's light becomes sound, sound becomes shape or geometry. So in the Bible, they talk about El, I told you this doesn't mean God. The Canaanites consider El to be God, but you really translate that word as light or power. So El goes through a prism or through your cells and becomes Elohim. When you go look at the word, let us make man in the Bible, us is translated from this word Elohim. It'll tell you it's translated from the gods and goddesses. It, some of them, if you study more, it'll tell you it's seven gods or goddesses um, that, that created the body, or Adam. So Adam becomes a shape. Adam means male and female, remember? So that's all this is. It's the same thing. Air or light becomes the Elohim or, the, or, or sound. So when you slow down, when light is shining, it becomes sound. As sound slows down more, it becomes shape. Every sound has a shape. So that's the secret to geometry. It's another, uh, I can break down geometry more the Masonic and sacred geometry when it comes to the different uh, shapes and geometry of these different planets. But that's another lecture. I just want to show you that that's what the seven is Elohim is all about. That's why you have the seven dwarves. Snow White is really your soul. White is synonymous with light. Black is synonymous with darkness. White, light is basically representative of the soul. Black or darkness is representative of the body. Has nothing to do with 
white and black for us, Caucasian, African American, or whatever you want to call yourself. All right. So these these fairy tales are about your body. Snow White is all about, and the Seven Doors is about how you was one light, and then you dwarfed into these seven low. You dwarfed or diverted your light into these seven little dwarfs. All right. Um. And you have to do work because you read the fairy tale; it all makes sense to you. Um, and uh, that's what the poison apple. So the same poison apple that's in Snow White is the same thing that's in the Genesis story, Adam Eve story. It's all about incarnation, or it's representative of human ignorance. So apple is pretty much the womb or this matrix that we're in. So it symbolizes the apple itself symbolizes the womb, and that pentagram symbolizes what comes out of that womb, which is uh, the physical body, male or female. Um, Another another uh, fairy tale that's, a, that's part of the Brothers Grimm stories is Rip Van Winkle. Rip, rest in peace. So we're talking about that peace side again. What happened if you if you remember, Rip Van Winkle was lazy. He didn't want to do any work, and then he ended up going up this hill. Hill or mountain is always synonymous of going up to your head. And if he was lazy, if you bring this energy up to your head and don't do the work, it dies right here in Golgotha or hiding in the shallow grave. Your goal is to bring it up here. That's why you get Ash Wednesday, Wednesday and all that stuff or the red dot on your forehead if you're Indian. Uh, it's all about you have to bring that fire or that energy up to your pineal gland. If you don't, you just pretty much fire burns out and the residue is ashes. So what happens with Rin Van Winkle is this is a story about reincarnation. Laziness or if you don't do the work to raise your Kundalini energy, you reincarnate. So what happened when he came back down the hill? No one recognized him. Why? Because he was in another body. Technically, the story is, is him being so old, nobody recognizes him, but we got to read between the lines. Because now his son has the same name and the same disease as being lazy. So he's, he has basically reincarnated into his son and became the same person. And if he don't learn his lessons, he's doomed to repeat. Not that incarnating is a bad thing. When you start getting into this and going through your dreams, because that's, that's where you learn, a, the, that's the closest thing you can get to death. Learn how to live in your dreams, and you'll be, able to, you'll be ready for when you finally pass out of your body for good. And you can choose to reincarnate. You become a, a master reincarnator. I just wanted to show you that they just play on words. They have people around here. Oh, you're so holy. They don't even know what holy means. They think, oh, it's a holy day or a holiday. They don't know what that means. It's a chance for you to become whole again. Your, your soul, your ram has split. Like most Masons think Hiram is a real person. You know, like I told you, they, they, all these are play on words. Two ball cane is the password you get when you get to the third degree. Two ball and your cane or your penis. Two balls and your penis. That's all this stuff. These are all puns. All these allegories are reduced to puns and play on words. Most words mean the same thing. Peace and peace. You, you, all this time you've been talking about cells in your body, those are prisons. You're, you got light. That's how they make the atomic bomb. They study how a cell or atom lives and, and they, they, they extracted the light and all that other stuff in it. It's light inside every cell, but it's so dense, so it slows down. Um, another thing is about portals. You have many portals on your body besides the big ones. But that's what your pores are. Pores are portals. So once you start to learn how to travel out your body and enter in your body from different spots and through your dreams, that's a, that's a whole other lecture. That's a little bit deeper. But I just want to break all that down. I hope that makes sense. Um, I always like to recap. The point of this lecture is to give you another view of what Adam and Eve means and so you'll know that you don't die. You are the Alpha and the Omega. Your body may pass on, but your soul has been here before your body. You have no beginning, no end. Just like Melchizedek has, is not born of a woman. You look at the Bible, Jesus comes in the line of Melchizedek. So look up Melchizedek and so on and so forth. So these are different little orders that will teach you about this. No beginning, no end. Just play on words. D-I without the E. Holy without the W. Your whole thing is that you split when you came into sin, into skin and now you're trying to become whole again unless you choose to repent or reincarnate. I hope this helps. Um, oh, just at the end, uh, FYI, I used to, uh, I see I got more subscribers, I, haven't, I don't know when the last time I did a video, I used to interact with you guys, but I no longer do, it became a little bit uh, frustrating because people kept going back to the same thing, they only want to talk about the Bible, and they were stuck on being religious, I'm not a religious person, if it's hard for you to get around that, your ego won't, won't, won't release that block, just go by the, fa that's why I always bring up fairy tales and these comic book stories, all your stories are in fairy tales and comic books, if you don't want to deal with the Bible stories, so... Whatever helps you, if that's what you want. Or you can just use this for entertainment. Oh, that's interesting. I never thought of it that way. All right? If you still think holy doesn't mean this, or die needs to die, then so be it. You'll die, and just keep on coming back. You just won't remember. All right. Hope this helps. Uh, more videos to come. I got a couple more ideas for you. And I'll expand, like I said, on that uh, Masonic stuff in another video.